Hey, good evening everyone. This is Kirk here again with the Bulls and Bears. It is actually pretty late here on Friday the 19th of June. Uh, I'm sorry that I was away most of the day and wasn't posting as frequently. I know I get a lot of emails about that, uh, but again, I can't be in a million places at once, and I had a family function to attend this evening. So, I am back tonight uh, for a little bit and doing uh, just starting off real quick, uh, I'll try to make it as short and sweet as possible for the weekend. Obviously, uh, option expiration week wasn't all uh, it was cracked up to be. The markets pretty much didn't move anywhere today. Uh, but the VIX has been very, very interesting uh, over the last couple of days. And in fact, if this was a stock, I'd probably go long it right now. You can see that since the huge, huge breakout that it had up into the 80s and 90s, of October and November of last year we've just kind of slowly slowly meddled down here and become really really comfortable with what used to be high levels back down around 30 or so now what's interesting about the VIX right now is that this continues to be one of those things that complacency is gonna come back and bite us in the end and a lot of people are getting complacent right now and this is why the VIX continues to hover around these levels I think that this it's a pretty good area from it to bounce from, but again, we need a nice little catalyst to do that. Okay, here is a look at the S&P as usual. Uh, this is an intraday look, again, 20 days here. And you can see that it was up just about three points on the day, not even uh, that significant move as far as percentage. Uh, but again, I have to point out, and this seems to be just an amazing week for all of these support and resistance levels, is that as soon as you identify these levels, and I identified this level this morning, I said that this was a pretty good level, and I've said it over and over again, that if it breaks out above this level, which it clearly did this morning, it would absolutely a dead rush to the next resistance level, and that's exactly what happened. You can see that this morning, after the market opened, the S&P made a dead sprint straight up towards that next resistance level. And again, that's all markets do is they run from areas of resistance and support and back again. And then you can see it hit that level twice, again intraday, moved away from it, kind of bounced off this level here, which is a pretty good area of support the round 920 it peaked below and then kind of ended right on top of it so again what we're going to look for over the next week or so is if the market's going to have enough strength to kind of break through this level you can look back here on the 20 day this huge area up here where it traded sideways for the better part of june that is a very very strong area so if the market does happen to get up into that area uh, it's going to have a tough time breaking through those levels. At the same time, we have a pretty good area of uh, kind of mush here or mud to get through on the downside. If it starts breaking hard, you can see all these levels that I have where it could possibly stop and kind of rebound. So uh, we're still in this kind of sideways, more or less action in the market. Really, the mantra for next week is going to be, are we going to break these recent lows? Are we going to break 900? That is the big significant level. Uh, for next week. Okay, just getting into some charts that interest me. Uh, not anything that members and I are trading right now, but they are good looking prospects if you want to get into a couple of these. Uh, this is actually Coach, really good looking short right now. You can see the trend lines that I've drawn, the breakout from this downward trend here, uh, also this major, major long term downward trend line. You can see that it's kind of hit this little apex here in its move, and clearly it's very very much off of its bottom here up almost a hundred percent so it needs a retracement back somewhere around 20 would be pretty realistic you can see that there are two pretty good gapping windows here right at that same level so again somewhere right around 20 right at this little area of support here that would be a pretty good area for a pullback before the next rally higher Okay, this is actually a look at Priceline, PCLN is the ticker for this, and really uh, not a good looking short just yet, uh, but I think it will be as soon as it breaks this major, major trend line here. You can see, and again, I'm looking at a five year chart now and actually kind of backing up here and taking a look at historically what's happened. You can see that when it's in these major, major bull trends here, everything seems to be intact. It made gaps up, et cetera, et cetera. But once it broke below this trend, and you can see that it clearly broke here on this day back in June of 2008, once that 
break happened in that major trend line, the downside was very, very significant. So now we have the same type of setup going on here. And I'm not to say or uh, going to say here that this is going to break the trend line now or in five months. I'm just saying that this is the type of setup you want to keep on your radar because as soon as this breaks hard, and I mean a break below and close below this trend line in a meaningful way, you had better believe that this thing is headed down very, very quickly. So uh, if you want to, this is a great one to keep on your screen, to keep on your radar, possible short entry. Uh, right now, considering that it's up uh, significantly from its bottoms, its bottom was around 50, 45, so now it's trading at about 110. Uh, major, major move up. I would definitely not be buying this at this point because you've completely missed the uptrend here. So uh, I would definitely wait for a pullback and possibly a break to short this and probably short it down to somewhere in the 70s, high 70s to low 80s. Okay, that ends the video for this weekend. As always, please email me with questions or comments and happy trading.